Hello and welcome to another appreciation post on Total War Shogun 2. It's been a little while since I did one of these, but I thought it's about time. And when I checked which units I had already done, I could not believe my eyes when I found out I hadn't done Bow Warrior Monks yet. So we're going to be appreciating the good old Bow Warrior Monks today. It's a little bit of a combo, really, because it's whenever I use Bow Warrior Monks, they automatically go hand in hand with Naginata Samurai. So it is a little bit of a combo appreciation post, but we are focused mainly on the Bow Warrior Monks. So I've just made an army that I would actually have, an, well, in fact, have built in uh, in Shogun 2 in the campaign uh, on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, we can't give him the extra accuracy buffs and such. Or at least I can't figure out how. Someone actually said that you can do it, but I, I have no idea where that option might be because I'm pretty sure you can in Avatar Conquest, but not here. Uh, anyway, we're up against just an army of Yari Ashigaru. I didn't do 40 of them this time. But this is going to be an absolute massacre and it should be quite fun. So let's jump into that first of all. Obviously, we're going to do a couple of battles. Finishing off, most definitely, with the all um, surrounding a single unit and just massacring it in one volley with like eight units at once. That's always the most exciting one. Oh, this new SSD is loading my games rather fast. Right, so we're literally just building an army of, or a line, sorry, of uh, Naginata Samurai. And then we'll have behind that... A lovely little, little line of bull warrior monks. And I brought a general too, because I uh, stand and fight will make up for some of the, uh, you know, the loss of having uh, accuracy and such. I kind of wanted to do like this, so I have more units in um, in range of stand and fight, but I also don't think that that's um, really a good idea, because they have 20 units. Also, I should really back off <laughs> a bunch. Oh crap, that general, that's fine. We'll put him over here again. Um, yes. Let's do this. Pop him in the stand and fight. And then watch the carnage unfold. Oh, I should have gone even further back because I won't have fire arrows now. Oh, an absolute disaster. Well, I'll have to do that for the next battle. Or our uh, second or third or fourth volley will just have to be... Uh, have to be fire arrows instead. Oh, here we go. The carnage is unfolding before our very eyes. But Warrior Monks is definitely one of my favorite units in the game. I don't remember, did I actually not place them on the top 5 best units in my last best f top 5 best units? I know I didn't, I didn't the original one, but I'm not sure if I included them in the list where I also included all the DLC units, which I did a couple months ago. It has all, absolutely fuck all views, by the way. Go and watch that video for fuck's sake. Um, anyway, maybe I'll link it. Maybe I'll put it in the, uh, like the, the, the thing where you can, um, after the video ends, or when the video is about to end, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's, it's one of my favorite units. I, as you all know at this point, I'm sure. Have we got a unit routing already? Jesus Christ. Uh, as you can sure you guys all know, I absolutely fucking love archers in this game. My oh my goodness. A bit the win? Let's not, let's not get our, ahead of ourselves, uh, advisor. We're not quite there yet. Although we have some more routing going on here as well. Um, but yes, uh, I, I love archery in this game. Just the whole... The, 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 it's just super satisfying. The, the way arrows work in this game. I've said this so many times now. Compared to any new... Total, like any Total War game that came after Shogun 2. Starting with Rome 2. The arrow trills just weren't the same anymore. For some reason they had to be like super... <sighs> traily, really. And, and also kind of obvious. Um, for them to even like... Be anything. Like I, I don't know. I just don't understand it. Because in Shogun 2... The arrows actually look like arrows, and yet, if you zoom out, you can still see them going. They're not like crazy, weird, white trails or something. It's just an arrow that you can see. Maybe they made them like extra thick or something? I don't know why they decided to change it up, but they did. Look, that volley, how clear is that to see? It actually gets less clear when you zoom in weirdly, but that's just how that works, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I just the whole situation has always been kind of odd to me. I, I never understood why they decided to... Switch it up and never go back, because all I know is people always complain about it. In Three Kingdoms, I uh, I use the mod to change the look of them, because I also agree that they just look kind of shit in almost every Total War game other than Shogun 2. Uh, and I guess but games before Shogun 2, I think they probably look fine as well, but I can't visualize them in my head right now. Anyway, it looks like our Bowery monks have mostly done their job. There's not a whole lot to shoot any at anymore. Try and line up a little bit differently. This uh, blob situation could be very good though for our archers. So let me just see if I can grab a couple of them and run them over here. But I've got a feeling the enemy will rout before 
I get a chance to get there. I'll block units off just in case I don't get, or just so I don't get attacked. In fact, yeah, I really want to actually get a couple of volleys on the side of this stuff because that should be quite fun. Let's uh, triple speed for a little bit, see if I can get into range or into position. They are pretty close to mass riding. Here we go. The volleys are going. Firing straight into the side of this blob right here. Oh, wait, I have fire arrows now, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to do much. Because I've got a feeling the mass route is imminent. If I did whistling arrows right now, the entire army would route instantly. The flaming arrows, too. Don't they just look fucking great? Don't they actually look good? Again, the whole situation with flaming arrows... Um, not really used in combat like this, but... At the very least, they look very good in this game. I also like their... Um, even though it's probably the, the least histor historically accurate, I kind of like their purpose in Shogun 2 as well, where they actually just are an increased damage version of the regular arrow. And then I think Rome 2 and other Total War games made it like a toggle toggleable? A toggle tog yeah, toggleable. That's, is that a word? Um, you can toggle it anyway, where you can turn it off or on whenever you want, rather than like an ability that you can use um, every couple of minutes. Where, but instead of it being a straight up upgrade, it's just um, it's a side grade, I guess. Like fire arrows, obviously can make buildings catch on fire, uh, and also I believe they in in twelve enemies, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but basically, yeah, it was more of a side grade. They did like they they fired less often. Because I guess you had to light the thing on. Um, so the reload rate went down, but then they did some other things in return. Whereas in Shogun 2, again, it's just a pure upgrade. But in Shogun 2, it's also kind of odd, because it looks to be like a timed thing. So the faster a unit fires, the more fire arrow volleys they get. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Um, but yeah, it's... Um... Look, the bow warrior monks. Oh, wow, then. <laughs> it's not the samurai. Despite not being upgraded, it's still getting in the in the top five, these two. Not bad. Um, I thought the general got kills for a second. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Did they manage to get through somehow? Anyway, let's do a battle of... Let's have a look here. What should we do? Um, I kind of want to just see how many you can take on. But unfortunately, you can't really... Well, what I could do, actually... I don't know if the AI is going to comply with this, but let's let's change things around. Let's make this the Sh uh, the Chosukabe. We'll give them a fully upgraded Naginata War or um, Bow Warrior Monk. Bow uh, Warrior Monku. And then what I'll do is I'll take a bunch of Yari Ashikaru. And I I, uh, I also I really don't. Oh, this I hate this thing about Shogun too. One of the worst things about it, which is completely irrelevant because it's a custom battle thing, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, when you switch the um, Defend their an attacker, then the the second army or AI army just gets changed, and it's very annoying. Anyway, I'll take um take a bunch of Yari Ashigaru. If I can make this happen, there we go. That should be enough. Uh, I guess I'm also just Gabe. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking switch again. Anyway, we'll try this. I want to see if I can just like walk them in in a line. I'll put them in Yari Wall too, just to make it even better. Um, hopefully the enemy will comply, or the AI will comply with this, because I have had situations where the AI, um, for some reason... What the... For some reason... Hello? What the fuck is going on? There we go. Did I do that? What? The, I'm very confused. Uh, the AI will, um... I should probably... Actually have enough room for all of them. Anyway, the AI will, will actually walk their units, um... Into uh, in, into your line, even though they're arranged, which is kind of odd. Okay, we're kind of skewed like to the left a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the goal is that you know. Okay, I'm put them in Yari Wall too. The goal is that you know just sits there, and we will just kind of walk towards it. Okay, it's not quite. Uh, actually, we want to go even further, don't we? Just want to go straight past it. Really, we want to be walking into it, but I I think I might want to run. Um, I kind of want to run, because I feel like walking is too, too easy. Maybe we'll mix it up. We'll, we'll run this unit in there. <laughs> so everyone will be walking, except for that one unit coming in from the back. Alright, and we'll, we'll see how they do. Alright, here we go. First volley's gone. Our general is He's in grave danger, danger my you. lord. See, so yeah, this is our captain unit. I always love the... Uh, they're walking 
the Yaiwa, and then the captain's kind of trying to join in on the shuffle, but he, he's just got a, he's just holding a sword. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, they're using whistling arrows. Interesting. Yet still, not enough kills. I wonder maybe Yariwa would actually would have been better. No, don't fire at the second unit. I mean, that's a lot of kills you're gonna get from that one volley. It's 28 kills, but um, I feel like it's a probably you know you should have done the, the whistling arrows of these guys so that they would have hit both of them. But anyway, pretty sure we are gonna walk into them. So <laughs> they're just. I guess they're just firing at like the the most logically, um, like the unit they can do the most damage to, or the one that's furthest away but still in their range. Which means that this isn't going to work out. They're not going to be able to kill eight units. Honestly, I don't think they were, but it was a nice little idea. I think. I guess we can find out how many kills they can do. <laughs> but to be fair, this is not a situation that would ever arise as it is right now. Oh, they see the threat of the unit coming in, or running in. In fact, oh, it's getting absolutely ruined. But it's not going to be enough, is it? Oof. Come on, one more. Straight fucking point blank over here. Oh, that's painful, that. But not quite enough. We're in. And now all the other units are walking in and they're not firing anymore, so... Hello? Oh! They killed one unit. But now they're in against the Yariwal unit, and that's not going to go as well, I'm afraid. And a second one popping in, too. The experience making them actually decent at killing, so they're actually doing alright in melee. Oh, that unit's... <laughs> I didn't even tell them to do that. They're still on the same order from going that way, I guess. The fuck? Glorious yes, glorious victory, victory except it's a loss. Yours. Right, well, let's have a look at how many kills they got. It's a, uh, yeah, it's not a situation that's ever going to arise in an actual battle, but I thought it would be a, a nice little, um... I don't know, like, <laughs> at some point, it's like, what am I supposed to show you guys? I've done so many battles with them, I'm not really trying to show you anything new battle-wise. I just wanted to... Just wanted, yeah, just want to show off some, uh... Some cool bow warrior monk action. The final battle, I know exactly what I'm doing. They killed 411 dudes. That is pretty decent kill death ratio. But again, it's a completely irrelevant scenario that will never actually happen. <laughs> so completely pointless as a test. But it wasn't really supposed to be a test. So there you go. Right then, the final one. You guys all know it, and you all love it. I'm sure. We're gonna take eight of these broskies. General doesn't have to be here. Upgrade them fully, and then we'll give the art the enemies. Actually, not the Chisukabe, because that might actually hurt a little bit. Let's take the Shimazu again. And we'll take a singular Bo Eishigeru. We are going to take some damage before we get there, but that's okay. That is... Oh, fuck, are they... No, they're defending, that's good. I think, yeah, I put them on defending again from the, from the last battle, so it should be fine. That is for friends. Alright, so, take them all off fire at will, for starters. And then, yeah, just kinda start running into position. Oh no, don't charge me. Shoot me. Okay, good, this sh looks like they're looking like they're gonna start shooting me. Ow! Actually gonna be kinda painful initially, to be honest. Actually, let's have you guys go here. Go here. Because we are taking <laughs> significant amounts of damage. Unfortunately, of course, the, uh... The good old bow warrior monk doesn't have the greatest of armor, uh, which is their down their downfall. But it doesn't. Oh, that one arrow though doesn't usually really matter a whole lot because, of course, um, your units have more range than any other ranged unit in the game, bar artillery units like fire rockets and such, and uh, vomit-inducing mangonels. They should not be named. Um. Oh. Ah, it's awfully painful that I should have brought an extra unit here. Come on, men, run into position. Um, but yeah, so yeah, they're not they're not usually getting targeted by anything, so it doesn't usually really matter. Man, I thought for a second they were like firing over here somewhere. Perspective right there. All right, uh, fire arrows, toggle fire at will, slow mo, turn off the UI, goodbye. We've been the lining up for their final volley as all the arrows come in from all over the damn place. I don't think we're going to wipe this unit in one volley. No, there's definitely still a bunch of people standing. They are, they probably will very soon consider routing, though. Yeah, I think they're like, yeah, in instead of firing that final volley, shall we just leave instead? Oh, and then they get absolutely fucking gunned down. Annihilated. 
Imagine being part of a unit. Oh, that was brutal. Imagine being part of this situation. Oh, that guy dodged a bunch of arrows, but then he got fucking sniped, and then that was the last of them. Brutal. Absolutely annihilated. Yeah, not quite a complete wipe. I think we had a complete wipe at some point. I can't remember what unit we were using at that point, but... Someone got complete wiped. May have been Dunderbuss Cav or... or uh, Revolver Cav or something, which I did two, two appreciation posts, because I didn't... I forgot I had done the first one, even though it was one of the last ones I did. I don't know what the fuck was going on at that point. It was like December or something. Anyway. Cool. That'll be that, I think, for this lovely... Lovely video. So yes, if you haven't seen my uh, my previous top five best units, which included all DLC units as well, it'll probably pop up on screen right about now, or it's already been up a few seconds. Depends on how long I keep talking right now. So let's end the video so that it, I can guarantee it's there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Until next time. And goodbye. <laughs>